Hello there. In the first video, we found out how to create a simple function using macros in LibreOffice Calc. Now we are going to write more sophisticated code to manipulate data from the cells themselves. Suppose we need to convert meters into kilometers. So let's write a custom function for this. Open the macro editor, choosing the Tools menu, Macros, Edit Macros. In the open it window, we are writing function that will do some calculation using value from the cell. So, first of all, change the subroutine to a function and rename it to kilometers. Kilometers function will get value from the cell and divide it at 1000. Let's add an input parameter cell value. Then write kilometers equals cell value divide at 1000. Okay, our function is ready. Close the macro editor. Now check our new function. Type equals kilometers and select cell with a value. Our function works good. Let's consider another example. Suppose we have a square like this and we want to calculate its diagonal. The appropriate formula looks like this. We need to take the side of the square and multiply it by the square root of 2. Let's create one more macro for this. Open the macro editor, tools, macros, edit macros, and in the open it window, add the new function. The function will be called a square diagonal. Add an input parameter site. Now enter our formula site multiply at square root of two. Close the function. As you can notice, we have used a mixer letter case for second function, unlike the first one where an upper case was used. Actually, it doesn't matter because keywords in basic are case insensitive. Close the macro data. Let's check the function. Type equals a square diagonal and select cell with side value. As you can see, all works good. If you need more function and utilities to facilitate your everyday task, you can use the ULC utilities. ULC utilities is an extension containing many custom macros that extend LibreOffice Calc functionality. You will be able to do many actions with text, numbers, dates, ranges, worksheets, and even use custom styles for tables and get data from the internet. Check links in the description under the video for more information. If the lesson was helpful for you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay in touch. 
Please leave your comments and have a nice day. Bye.